Good morning, Custer Spotters. It is Alex, and we're back at Six Flags Great Adventure for Jersey Devil, construction update number 20. It is January 22nd, and hopefully today is the day that Jersey Devil is topped off. All right, they spent a good amount of the morning, I believe, prepping some stuff. Probably attaching the staircase supports to the top of the track. And here we go. That is very close to topping off, but not quite there. It's very interesting that uh, this will essentially be not only the topping off, but the completion of the track, which is very backwards. Usually, you know, the first drop goes in, typically one of the first things to do. Uh, mainly because they usually have really expensive cranes for the top portion of the track, so they get rid of the uh, the tall parts so they can rent cheaper cranes. But obviously that was not the plan from the beginning for this one, for whatever reason. There we go, nearly full height, if not the full height. As I said, it's dang close if it's actually uh, technically topped off right now. But again, let's just, let's consider finishing the top of the lift till topping off on this, this one. All right. So we're going to do a time lapse of the rest of the construction of this piece. Still working on the alignment for the two track sections and then they have to go up and uh, bolt up the track to that upper support. But uh, it should be a while so we're going to time lapse it. All right, it is about 2.30, so uh, it's not happening today, unfortunately. So we'll be back, I guess, on Monday for the topping off. It is January 25th, and it is a beautiful morning to top this coaster off. And here we go, topping off with that American flag on the highest point of the coaster. Of course, it's been a year of unforeseeable events and for them to finally move on with the construction and the healing of the industry is a great sign to see and hopefully a return to normalcy in the near future. Beautiful morning for a beautiful looking coaster. Uh oh. Um, full start. Uh, yeah, I'd say it's a full start. Looks like they are gonna have to take it down and uh, make some adjustments. Uh oh. This thing happens sometimes, but uh, I'm sure they'll try again pretty soon. And here we go again. The only thing I can figure is that the 
angles that they had set with the chains, the piece wasn't um, set properly. Yeah, you can see how both ends now meet up a lot better. I think they had to release a little bit in one of the chains or bring it up a little bit so the piece was better aligned. Alright, it's about 11 o'clock and uh, they're finishing up, bolting up, not quite done yet and uh, haven't released the crane yet, but that is where I'm going to leave you for today's update. Uh, coaster looks absolutely fantastic, way better than I ever expected, you know, uh, especially since I was under the uh, perception that it was going to be just to where those uh, supports had uh, been for, you know, the last nine months or so, so that extra height just... <sighs> The difference between those two elements is just absolutely ridiculous. I love it. Going into that dive loop or whatever they call it is going to be absolutely insane. As I already know from Wonder Woman, that, that is amazing whip into there with airtime and all types of forces happening. But we will be back once it gets a little bit warmer and uh, for just general updates. And then eventually, well, hopefully, we'll catch some test runs. So, this has been Alex for the Coaster Spot. Thank you so much for watching. It means everything to me. And uh, go ahead and tell your friends. Share, like, comment, and subscribe. All those things.